good vibrations. Yep. All good vibrations. It sounds like you've been led by good vibrations. <laughs> yeah. That's very cool. Um, what's what I what I've enjoyed about even um, this conversation where it's going. Um, I uh, I grew up in the Midwest in Kansas. I moved to Los Angeles when I was a really young kid. Uh, was very fortunate to have a, a pretty awesome career in film and television. Um, all sorts of stuff, big feature films and soap operas and all that good stuff. Um, but along the way, curiosity, vibration, um, sobriety is a good one. That's a, that's a good one. Um, seriously, uh, my, my, my older brother is, um, did it for a personal choice and education has been at it for years and years. Um, and to me, it was, it was a turning point with a mentor as well who showed me story structure, um, beginning, middle, and end. And when I was able to learn more about the individual turning points within stories, uh, it all of a sudden started to look like a blueprint for life, right? So that first, and we always broke it down to screenwriting because that's, that's what we were doing, um, 100 pages. And that first image is your opening image. It's what needs to change in that hero's life. That fifth page, that fifth year of life, all this equates to kind of your, your life timeline. Fifth year of life is the theme. Uh, what does that individual character need to do to become their better version of themselves? That 10 or 12th page, that 10 or 12th minute, that 10 or 12th year is a, is a, a, a catalyst moment within that character's life that makes them start to question their environment. Is there something that needs to change? Now they're making a conscious choice. That period between 12 and your mid-20s, right, is your debate stage. Am I willing to step out of my comfort zone and go and do the things that, I'm, that in my heart, in my, in my soul, I know I need to do? And that's that first act, right? Boom, you've, you've established who you are, what you need to change, and are you brave enough to go out and do it? This is also the hero's journey, right? Um, comparative mythology it's all the same story um, from that first act you've got the fun and games and the B story the big personal change maybe you meet your husband or your wife whatever it may be you start a family you build your career you travel um, your experiences quantify and quantify and quantify leading up to your first emotional turning point which is usually an opposite high or an opposite low of your opening image that's about your, your one hour mark of your movie or your 50 or 60th year. From there, you have the bad guys closing in. It's the challenge of the expansion of your life um, and how you address the, 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 the clock that starts ticking of saying, oh shit, this went fast. And there's, I still feel young, right? How do, I, how do I continue to add on to this knowing that like I'm a speck? but I'm an important spec, I matter. That bad guy closing in moment is, is a big deal um, and it leads to a point in which all is lost, metaphorical. And that hits your 70 or 75th um, year in your page and then you have that dark night of the soul. It's that, that's, that mirror turning point of your catalyst that got you out of the house when you were a kid and set you on your journey and are you brave enough to, to stride towards the conclusion which is gonna be the opposite of your opening image. It's gonna be your, um, your closing image. It's gonna be, look what has changed. Look at the choices you've made, the people you've been able to impact, and hopefully the world you left better behind. So for me, it was story and mentorship and vibration as well. And for this, this piece and maybe this podcast, maybe it's the documentary, um, I hope what comes from it is people find these themes within themselves, right? Because we're telling a, a secular story, a county government production about coronavirus effects within an account, uh, a county and, and how we adjust and how we change. So that's kind of the macro of how I got here and ironically, um, me leaving Los Angeles was a choice because I saw a coal mine and a coal operation about to ha a coal miner and a coal mining operation about to happen there. And with media becoming so wildly abundant, um, with so many different versions of reality, it's hard to decipher. Um, 
ironically, this peninsula in Southern Maryland has given me a chance to get back to the root of why I got into stories, which is to bring people together, which is to, to give them a microphone, to talk about their experience, to leave something behind. So it's, um, it's cool that even at the tail end of this physical production of this doc, we're getting a chance to explore these, these esoteric, these spiritual themes, because I think that's also um, why there's so much activism, and, activism and, and, and stuff like this happening in the world is people are seeking that connection to a source, whatever your source may be, right? So um, I hope that we, uh, we are a little more patient with each other through these processes and these explorations because it matters and it's important.